Hi, this is Guy Barker here. Welcome to Herbie.org. I'm going to give a demonstration of the Herbie Writer handwriting development software. I built this software with the help of some friends following input from occupational therapists and teachers who are helping students develop their handwriting. The software is free and available for download at my website Herbie.org and here you see it running on a convertible classmate PC type computer. When Herbie Writer starts it shows a letter on the left side of the screen. The idea is that the student copies that letter in the right area of the screen and Herbie Writer will make a decision as to whether the student's letter is a close match for the sample letter or not. So for example, I'm going to write the letter A on the right side of the screen. OK, Herbie Writer considered that to be a close enough match, and so moved the letter to the top right of the screen, and the Herbie character smiled for a few seconds. So I'll do that again. And there, Herbie Writer says it's OK, and Herbie smiles. Now, if I draw a letter and Herbie Writer considers the letter to be not a close enough match for the sample, then my letter will move off towards the left side of the area where I wrote it and the Herbie character stays as he was before. OK, now I'll do that again. OK. Now, the rules for de deciding whether the student's letter is a close enough match for the sample or not uh, can be varied. There are three evaluation levels of beginner, intermediate and advanced and when Herbie Writer starts the first time it's in beginner level which means that so long as the student's letter is roughly the same size as the sample letter then the letter will be considered co correct but in fact the letter can look quite different from the sample at beginner letter and still be decided, declared as correct. This is intentional as at beginner level the aim is to encourage the student to want to use Herbie Writer. As the student's handwriting develops then the level can be changed to be intermediate or even advanced and in, at those levels the letter must be a very close match for the sample. So for example I'll do another large letter and that's considered incorrect and then I'll do a fairly close match and Herbie Writer considered that to be correct. Now you'll notice at the top of the window here is a score and that indicates that I had six attempts at writing a letter three of which were considered to be correct. Now if you would like the sample letter to be drawn out to show the student how the letter should be drawn you can click the show me button here and there you can see the sample letter being drawn out. I'll do that again. And if you would like the sample letter to be continually drawn out, then you can check the repeat show checkbox here. When you do that, the sample letter is drawn out, and after a slight pause, the sample letter will be drawn out again. So this gives the student a constant display of how the letter should be drawn and at any time I can write the sample, the, my own attempt at that letter on the right side of the screen. Now if you would like after the student has written a letter that was considered to be correct by Herbie Writer you could have a different letter shown automatically and how you do that is check the random pick checkbox here. So now if I write the letter A Herbie Writer considers that to be correct and then it moves to another letter at random from the alphabet. So I'll write J here and now this time I'll do a deliberate attempt at uh, an incorrect letter and I'll try again. Okay, and Herbie Writer considered that to be correct. Alternatively, I could have that random pick checkbox cleared so it will not pick a letter automatically and instead I can pick a letter here 
that is of particular interest to me, like L, say, or M. There. Now, some students might not have developed to the point where they can write the letter at a distance from the sample, and it's going to be more helpful to have them trace over the letter. So if you check the trace checkbox here, then the area where the student writes is actually on top of the sample letter shown. So I'll trace out the letter M, and that was considered to be correct. And I'll put that on random pick, write M, and now it moves to the letter F. And again I'll do an F that's too big, another one that's too big, and then one that's roughly the right size. So now I'll clear the trace checkbox to go back to writing at a distance. Now, it can sometimes be fun and helpful for the student to be working towards a goal. So, to do that, I'm going to click the Start Game button here. And now, Herbie says, there are 26 letters to go. And the idea is, you see how many of these letters you can write correctly first time. So, I'll try the J. Okay, and I got one out of one there. Now I'm going to try a Z, but this time I'll do the Z intentionally too large. Okay, and it said, oh, well, I've had uh, a go at two letters, but I only got one of them right first time. Okay, now we've moved on to an I, saying there's 24 letters to go, and that one I got right first time. So you can see that it's keeping a track of how many letters I got right first time as we go through the alphabet. Now, there are a number of settings you can use to customize the use of Herbie Writer for your particular students. And we'll go through those settings in another video demonstration. If you have any feedback or ideas about how you would like to see Herbie Writer changed, please do let me know at Barker at herbie.org. I do all the changes to Herbie Writer based on feedback that I get from occupational therapists and teachers and parents and that input helps me prioritize the work that I do on Herbie Writer.